Hi, I'm here today at uh, Accenture's Data Insight Labs in San Jose with John Miller and Hallie Benjamin. Good to see you guys. Good to see you as well. So uh, what exactly does a Data Insight Labs do for a company like Accenture? So our purpose is to focus on research and development for Accenture's digital analytics practice. Uh, our goal is to find new innovative technologies that could help Accenture clients uh, and Accenture's practices uh, create new solutions that are innovative in the market. Uh, some of the things that we do and we're excited about our innovation around data strategy. How do we help clients think about uh, investments in uh, data insights technology, uh, as well as data science. And so we're excited about supporting uh, UC Berkeley's Haas Business School around data strategy and data science. Hallie, you're, you're a strategy consultant. What are you doing with the Data Insights Lab? A recovering strategy consultant. Um, yeah, no, I think that's a great question. The decision um, sort of evolved, I think, over time when, as Nate uh, mentioned in our, in our presentation, when we realized that the most fun, interesting problems to some of the engineers and to some of the computer scientists um, felt like they were relevant but not hitting on the most important strategic questions that our clients were asking us. And so the decision to integrate strategic consulting methodologies and a way of thinking about the problems that you're trying to solve um, with what does the data tell us is the most interesting problem and how can we help clients um, unlock the value in data. Marrying those two uh, was sort of the brainchild of, of John and Nate who run the lab. And they brought me on to help integrate some of that thinking with my background uh, into the team and the work that we do. So with respect to change within an organization, movement towards data-driven decision making, uh, what, what can a consulting firm do to accelerate that change? And under what circumstances might a consulting firm be brought in to help facilitate that change? So let me start and then maybe yeah. you can yeah, uh, pile it. on. Sure. Um, you know, I think the reason uh, consulting firms are asked for our help is because we have experience doing it elsewhere. And, um, you know, I think the thing that we can do that's um, the most valuable is showing them examples of what that journey would be like to change. Um, you know, Accenture has a unique value proposition because we have strategy where we can actually frame this, the magnitude of the opportunity, the size of the problem, and help our clients think differently about uh, their business. Uh, once we've got a strategy, we can help demonstrate and show them what that would look like, and then we can actually help deliver the change through our uh, Accenture Digital or Accenture Technology, and then help them operate that new capability uh, through Accenture Operations. So we can do a lot. Mm -hmm. Hallie, I think uh, in the talk earlier, uh, you guys were saying that uh, CEO decision-making time is mm -hmm. very, very limited and you need to be able to present um, the opportunities in an easily digestible format. Uh, yeah. Talk a little more about how you do that. Sure, so, I, I mean, and I think that can connect back to the last question around the idea of having a team that is a, cur a curated set of skills that is able to focus on the most impactful strategic problem at hand, so often those that are relevant or um, being questioned by a C-level executive. So having a team that can focus it very intentionally, um, rapid, sort of data-driven, both simulation, modeling, and thinking about what those outcomes or possible answers to the questions that are being asked might look like, um, you know, we see that transforming the way that decisions are made in the boardroom. And so I think that consulting firms, um, depending on you know, the, the type of problem, if you bring in a team that's focused on, you know, laser focused on answering that question, um, that can bring value. And part of what we see happening is that more and more um, every organization is gonna wanna be able to do that as, uh, as quickly as possible. Now I think you guys said that you hire about 30,000 people a year. I mean, you have a huge organization. Um, where do you find the most uh, difficulty uh, locating this talent? What, what sort of well, talent? You know, that, that's interesting <laughs> you mentioned that because I'm not sure it's public information about how many we hire, and it's probably more than that, but I can't, uh, I can't say exactly how much. But yeah, we hire a lot of people, and 
You know, I think the opportunity is to think of our workforce as global. We use a lot of interactive and collaborative technology so that we can, maybe we find uh, a country with a predisposition towards mathematics and uh, analytic skill like Greece, right, where there's an opportunity to grow our business there and make those skills available to North America, right? So we hired globally uh, a lot of people and uh, we try to use as much collaboration technology as we can to deliver that to clients wherever they are in the world. Mm -hmm. John and Hallie, thanks for hosting us today. It's our pleasure, thanks for bringing the class. Thanks, Greg.